Okay, so I thought I would have a look at um, Tunisia 2 from the OCS system um, and try it through Vassal, which is probably where a lot of people play the games as opposed to being um, Map Encounter. Um, has its advantages, obviously, with play by email or indeed live feed over, uh, you know, you might use Skype or something. Um, so this is set up for the Race to Tunis scenario, which is the... Um, initial turns of the campaign. Uh, the Allies coming on from Algeria, which we see here on the map, and then if we scroll across, um, we can see there the kind of two main objectives really on the map, which is Bizet up here, and then Tunis, just a little lower down. Um, interesting game, very balanced. Um, different phases of the game bring out uh, different strengths. Um, there's also a, um, a winter shutdown almost. Uh, you'll get a few turns where nothing much happens uh, other than continual build up. Um, so, yeah, always interesting to play out and see um, see how it kind of goes. So, if we were starting, um, air units have already been placed, so we know there's nothing to do with those, there's no refit. Um, reinforcements have also been put in place. Um, supply is basically down to how much we can actually bring in. So um, for the Allies, you have sea and rail capacities. Um, rail can only bring supply in within Algeria. So if you look here, you can kind of see there's a purple line here, which is coming down the map all the way. Um, that's the Algerian-Tunisian border. So any detrainable hex inside this area you can use for rail transport supply. Um, for sea transport supply you can notice that there are little port capacities here for some of the smaller ports. Uh, so Tabaka, um, Philipville, both 2T, but then Bowen here we have a full uh, 1SP if I just take the counters off so you can see there yeah, we've got full 1SP here for the Bowen um, capacity. Obviously this can be affected by uh, German bombing, bombing if they go after your port um, would gradually reduce that capacity. Um, to help you protect that, there's also a flak point here in Bourne. Um, so yeah, so that's basically the way we uh, where we begin. Um, we can roll for variable re uh, variable reinforcements. Uh, we've just rolled a 5. A 5 doesn't cut it. We don't get anything at all for, for a 5. So we'd kind of go straight into the movement. Um, and if we just do, just as a quick example here, just to um, set the tone, um, I'd quite like to see what the uh, RAF can do. Um, you can see here we've got some Spitfires based in Bone. Um, the number to the left is their air-to-air -air rating, the 5. Um, the little yellow number you can see above the wing of the uh, Spitfire there is the range in hexes, 47. And the black number to the right with the bomb behind it, that's its ground attack. So you can see there the Hurricanes were a much better um, placed to be doing ground attack than the Spitfires. If we flip across here to uh, Bizert, we can see there is a, um, well, there's a damaged 109 because it's a 4-0. Um, and a full strength uh, 190 um, rated exactly the same as the Spitfire basically. So what we could start with is we could try and do some um, air to air. We can try and sweep the German air units from Bizert. So at this point the, um, the defender gets a choice of grounding units he doesn't want to take uh, who doesn't want to be involved in this, um, you have to leave one air unit. But since both those German air units are fighters, um, generally speaking, they'd probably leave them up. So, straight roll, because the um, combat strengths are exactly the same, 5 to 5. Okay, we rolled a, a 6 with a 2. A six with the six is an attacker aborts. So unfortunately, in this instance, that's the Spitfire flying back. 
So he goes back and goes, replace them underneath the base to say that he's flown the mission. Uh, so we'll give that another go. Okay, this time we've got a seven with a five. Now a seven with a five is both abort. So again, the Spitfire is going back, but actually it also took a hit. So we need to just reduce that Spitfire by one strength point, but we also reduce the FW190 and again put him underneath the airbase. Um, so first casualties are even there with uh, one each. Okay, we've got another one here. And obviously we could go after Bizer, uh, sorry, Tunis Airbase, which also has five strengths. But I think what we'll do is we'll keep after the Bizer Airbase and see if we can clear them out. So we've still got a five there now, if the um, 109 is now a four. Um, so we'll try again. Okay, we've got a, a seven, which goes up to an eight, which is defender abort, but we rolled a four for damage. There's no effect for the damage, but that does remove that um, that unit from play or oh, forces it to become inactive to be more accurate and then what we'll do is we'll take this next Spitfire unit which is a four and we'll put him up against this Italian unit in Mater so again he's got a plus one on the die and he again rolls a ten uh, with a four so again, that's the um, that's the Italian unit grounded. So it's another successful mission by the Spitfires. Now, as I say, we do have a smattering of um, American Spitfires here, but you'll see that they are fours and threes. Um, actually, we will try and just take down, send one of the American Spitfires against the Italians again at the Gira. So this time we've got a plus two on the dice. So we roll two, four, plus two is six with a five. Now, unfortunately that's attacker, sorry. Yeah, that's right, attacker uh, abort. But the five is also a damage. So we flip, and the Italian was successful there. The Italian saw off that um, American Spitfire, which is a bit unfortunate. Okay, we've got a couple more back there, so let's give that another go. See if we can get some air superiority over at least a section of the battlefield. Okay, this time we rolled a six, but remember we've got a plus two, so that's an eight, and that knocks down that um, knocks down that Italian fighter. And the American flies back to his base, victorious in this instance. And so opens the campaign, basically. So that's the. Um, start of movement if you like um, I won't go through the whole thing but I'll, um, I'll update later uh, but it gives you an idea of how the air war works and then obviously at the start of every turn there is a refit phase um, and all those units all those air units that you've just seen which are below now the air base counter they can all be refit but that all costs supply it costs one T of supply to refit an air base um, the number of air units that can be refitted is twice the airbase capacity so if you look at that airbase that's an airbase one um, that means it can support and refit two planes at a time um, one is also its flak rating um, so if you look at the tunis airbase there it's a two so it could support four aircraft or refit four aircraft for one t uh, and it also has a flak value of two um, yeah okie doke